Good morning, everyone. I'm so glad you joined us today. Okay, let's stir it up a little bit. You know, as elders in the LGBTQ community, I am always challenging you to reimagine your spiritual journey. I'm always encouraging you to be willing to see things in a new way. Today, I want to talk about Jesus versus Heshua. And I want to start out by saying the radical thinking that I am is just who I am. People will come to me and say, Reverend Jack, do you believe that Jesus is the Christ, the Son of the living God? And for many, many, many years in my traditional Christian upbringing, I would say yes. And then as I evolved and expanded my understanding of theology and history, I would say yes, but I'm willing to be wrong about it. And that often stopped people in their track. Because what I learned as a theologian, as a student, is part of what we know from the Bible is based on patriarchal writings of men hundreds of years later. For example, Jesus would not have had a Latin name in the time of his birth. Most likely, most scholars will say that he is known as Yeshua. But we also want to look at, if you take a look at this image, this is the image that most of us have been given in our life for what Jesus might have looked like. It's the European influence. But the photo on the left, on the right, is Yeshua, who Jesus most likely really was. Now he is still the master teacher. He is the one that preached a message of love. But I invite you today to be willing to see it a different way, to be willing to let go of some of those traditional beliefs that you were raised up to believe and choose for yourself. Take dominion over your spiritual journey and decide what is true for you. Have a blessed day, everyone. We'll see you next time.